The University of Electro Communications in Tokyo enjoys international prestige in optical science. The optical science group has grown over the decades and now it consists of members from the Institute for Laser Science, Department of Engineering Science and Center for Photonic Innovations. Many exciting developments are taking place. Optical frequency comb is one of our key topics. From the early stage of its history, we have been contributing to its advancements. In particular, we focus on fiber-based frequency combs, which are the key for practical applications. By full use of its capability as optical synthesizer in time, frequency, and space domains, we have been developing a wide variety of applications. For example, ultimately, we can measure very long distance, such as kilometer, with ultra-high precision, such as picometer, which is the order of the diameter of atoms. Such technology is useful for industrial and environmental sensing and space technology. Our research subject is to generate an extremely broad frequency comb known as the Raman comb. And this Raman comb is very interesting because its spectrum covers from the infrared to the ultraviolet region with perfect phase coherence which leads to the generation of ectosecond pulse strain with high repetition rate. I am from Malaysia. I've been studying in UEC for three exciting years. Language has never become a problem for me to study or making friends because here in UEC, they provide many programs and guidance for all the international students, which are very, very helpful. With laser cooling, we can produce atoms at a temperature close to absolute zero. As atoms are cooled, they start to show their quantum statistical nature and sometimes turn into phase so-called Bose-Einstein condensate. Under some other conditions, cold atoms behave like electrons in superconductors, uh, neutrons in neutron stars, and so on. Our research with cold atoms helps to understand physical systems in extreme conditions. In quantum optics, we have four groups covering photon-based systems in space and time and squeezing. We also have a collaboration with the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology to send quantum information and frequency standards over 10 km length through the atmosphere. We plan to do this from a rooftop dome. My main work is on encoding quantum information in optical beams with orbital angular momentum. These are beams with rotating structures. We create high-definition holograms to generate and manipulate these beams. We are developing a fiber-based quantum interface between light and matter using extremely thin tapered optical fibers with diameters almost 100 times smaller than a human hair. To efficiently transfer quantum states between light and matter, we write photonic crystal cavities on these tapered fibers using a femtosecond laser. This will form the basis for a single photon-based communication system, the so-called quantum internet. We have an international group of researchers. I am from India. I completed my doctorate degree here. I worked in Harvard University for a year and currently working as a research assistant professor here. One of our main research topics in Shirakawa lab is the photonic band gap fiber. This fiber allows us to build a high power orange laser for the first time. Furthermore, we are investigating new methods for spatial and temporal coherent beam combining. This allows us to take multiple lasers and combine the output into one single very high power beam. In addition, Muschel Lab is developing the ultra-stabilized laser for the DeSigo project. DeSigo is a triangular-shaped laser interferometer in space. The green laser is stabilized in reference to iodine molecules and once launched, it will be the first stabilized laser operating in space. Our research topic is interaction phenomena with high-intensity lasers. We've achieved several milestones in the Japanese X-ray free electron laser facilities. They are saturable absorption, beam guiding, and X-ray pump X-ray lasers. We will develop new active X-ray optics for future X-ray laser science. We organized several important workshops in this field. Professor Toru Morishita organized international workshop 
on theory for at the second quantum dynamics. We have many deep discussions and enjoy interchange of ideas from morning to night. We pride ourselves in the activities of the UEC Tokyo Optical Science Group. The research area continues to expand, and so we continue to be innovative and explore new and exciting frontiers. Opportunities are wide open. We look forward to welcoming a lot of talented new scientists.